His brother and our childhood, you know, best friends. So I was always around Jeffrey, you know, when he was younger, um, a little bit smaller. But, um, you know, probably back in middle school when I actually first was uh, introduced to Jeffrey. If you saw me, you'd usually see him. You'd see Jeff. And that's how it's always been. And it's still like that to this day. Like Jeff right now, he lives underneath of me in my apartment where we stay. So he always just comes up to my apartment no matter when, what time it is. He just come up there and like go in the refrigerator and get something to drink. Like it's like he lives there. I think I've always seen in him just as far as having great potential and great work ethic and um, just the ability to strive to want to do the things that he does. And, uh, you know, he's, he's overcome so much adversity um, through high school, being injured, you know, half his career. Well, my first injury was my ACL, MCL, my meniscus in my right knee. It would it happen in a game like towards the end and just being around a pile, a, a guy leg whipped around and hit me in my, in my knee and just felt to give out. In my senior year, I hurt my ACL on my left knee. He played in a scrimmage and he played a half and then he stuck his foot in the ground and, and cut the wrong way trying to beat a blocker and it just gave on him. He didn't even know it was that. He went into surgery and, and the doctor said he, uh, he thought it was just something minor, you know. I, I thought that was just a meniscus going into surgery and I, afterwards I found out it was a, a ACL so that was devastating to me. So just, that was hard, but then just I realized I had to get ready for, um, to come to UVA and try to make an impact here. UVA showed a lot of love, and you know, the coaches were still in contact with him, and they still wanted him, and that was probably one of the main reasons why he came in also, because of the, you know, the, the commitment they made to him. We had Jeff and Jeffrey in camp twice, so we were very familiar with him athletically and with his body type and um, what his, his ultimate size potential would be, and that coupled with his athletic ability, um, that was very apparent when we were able to work with him personally. As soon as I was cleared to be able to do stuff, I was out trying to run and get back in shape. And I did track and field just mainly to get back in shape and um, get some strength back in my knee. And then that, that went well as it turned out. It was one of our linebackers who was out there who was a, a big shot foot thrower and, and discus thrower and Fistus came out there. All natural strength and just, and just did it. He's a natural athlete, so he made it happen. At first, I was kind of cautious with it, but then as time got on, I, I became more comfortable with the technique needed. So therefore, I, I was able to perform at a better level as the year went on. Lewis out of the gun. Lewis retreats, looks downfield, and he is going to be hit. Ball loose with his arm in the motion. Is it a fumble? I, they're going to say yes, fumble. Cavs pick it up, and they rumble to the end zone. He's one of those players that is very, he's very aware, he's very alert, and he makes progress every day. You know, things really register with him, uh, as we sometimes hear the term, he just, he gets it. You know, it's an energy booster for himself and for the offense. You know, when we see guys out there making plays like that, and you know, it's just a, a great momentum changer, especially on the road. When I threw my touchdown pass against Georgia Tech, I wasn't as excited as when I seen him get the sacks. I was, you know, and this game, this past game against Duke, when he got that, uh, the fumble and picked it up and ran in the end zone, I was in the end zone with him. Just, I was so juiced, like, because he'd been talking about that forever. Like, if I get a touchdown, you're going to know me. I'm going to be right. And I was telling him, like, I'm going to be right there. Because in high school, it was a one game I scored, and he came in the end zone with me and was smacking my helmet so hard I had to run away from him. And so I tried to go and repay the favor to him, but I couldn't really get to him as well as I wanted to. I remember that game. It was um he had a, a real long run. I was like, look, he scrambled and he broke a couple of tackles and he ran. I was running right beside him there. Yeah, the cele I didn't know the celebration is most of the time the worst part of it. So I I might have hit him a little hard, but um it was worth it. <laughs> I gotta take everything day by day, try to get better as the year goes on. I mean, I still feel that like I can be a more of an impact on the field than what I'm already doing. So therefore, just I have to do that throughout the year, continue to get better and perform on a higher level each game. I think sky's the limit for Jeffrey. I mean, he's doing everything right. You know, coaches praise him every week about getting better and, you know, taking things he's done wrong and correcting it. You know, the day after, and I think Coach Gross sees it, I think the players around him see it. Yeah, I always try to have the most fun I can on the football field just to make things go a lot easier. And if you're having fun out there, you know you're doing something you love, it's just, it's just a good thing.